Hey guys, what's up? Ryan, the NCS Master here, back again for another direct reaction, because this seems to be my standard form of content for now. Uh, just doing a quick reaction to the mini partner showcase today. Uh, hopefully there's some good stuff here. There's no, like, live stream lead up or build up. They just dropped the whole thing on YouTube right now. So, throwing in a little intro here, and, um... Yeah, here's hoping we see some good stuff, because I know a lot of people were disappointed this wasn't a regular direct. I mean, I was a little bit too, but I have some hope that there's going to be some good stuff in here. So, uh, let's just get this playing, and let's react to this. Alright, here we go. RP. Oh, they're still showing the, uh, COVID, uh, alert thing. It's, you know, fair. It's still going on. All right, let's hope this isn't <laughs> let's hope this isn't a repeat of how the 2020 showcases go. All right, where do we start? When mankind is consumed by darkness, Capcom and the land falls into chaos, the arch demon of the abyss shall rise from That's, the earth. What is this? They come right. Oh, this is this is probably Monster Hunter Sunbreaker. Both beast and man have more in common than they think. Yeah. This has to be Sunbreaker. Yeah, this is this is Monster Hunter. All right, opening up with this. You know, we've seen this before, but it is a big deal. So fair enough to start with something like this. I think this comes. What? Or wait, is this already out? I can't. I forget. I I barely play Monster Hunter, so I don't really know like what's out or what's not here yet. There are some pretty cool looking beasts here. I, even though I don't play Monster Hunter very much, I have always liked the designs of the beasts. It can't be. I do have and Rise, so I I could probably do the story these. mode for it. I, I really should at some point. At least give one of these games a real fair shot. The story ends. Another begins. Wandering Real good colors in this trailer, too. <laughs> well, he's got a real good voice. Oh, yeah, they, <laughs> yeah, they straight up have guns. I always forget that. Sounds like near music. All right, how how long does this go for? Come on. Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Is this out already, or when does it come out? Oh, free title update. Whoa. Seething Bet. Basla Goose, or whatever, however you pronounce it. Oh, I guess they're adding, like, a bunch of monsters with, like, each update. Wow, they're, they're going far with this game. Okay, yeah, so it comes out in a couple days. Okay, you spent, like... Okay, come on, Nintendo, you spent, like, four minutes on this. Hello everyone, welcome to today's Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase. In this presentation, we'll be focusing on Nintendo Switch games launching this year from this year. publishing and development partners. Okay, okay, let's get into the headlines. So it's going to be focused on the stuff this year. The battle to reclaim... Earth are we finally getting near Automata on Switch? Yes, we are! 5012 AD. 
Machine life forms have overwhelmed the planet. Is it cloud? Collapse of civilization. I need to see. Humans to take refuge on the moon. End of the Yorha edition. The Android squad called Yorha. The humans are prepared to stand against the I have Nier Automata and I love replicants. I got to play this. A battle android 2B. Man, it's awesome to see this finally come to Switch. Our two key members of this squad. Machine life forms in conflict with androids. What will come of this bloodless battle? You just die already! I, I love replicants this so of much. The award -winning Near Automata comes I... with previously released content, including cool. additional previously modes released and content. costumes. Additional modes, costumes. New costumes exclusive to the Nintendo Switch version will also be available. Oh, cool! Sw Switch exclusive Reclaim costumes. Earth. In near Automata, and the end of your, the your high edition. Launching on the Nintendo Switch system. Okay, right around my birthday. Begin today and it no mention of clouds, so this might be native. Awesome. I actually might get that. And that might be the first way I play Replicant. Or not Replicant, Automata. What is this? A maze of deceptions. A magician with a gun. A murder mystery. A palace of memories. Get ready to immerse yourself in surreal riddles and a chilling story in this modern take on puzzle adventure games. Huh. Okay. Art style's interesting, at least. It looks creative. Solve the enigma of Lorelei and the Laser Eyes. Lorelei first for consoles on Nintendo Switch next year. <laughs> you said this year, but <laughs> now you got next year. Okay. Familiar faces are making a splash in these games. Classic characters on Nintendo Switch. Oh, Bomberman. A new Bomberman game is coming to Nintendo Switch. A new bom a Oh, new mode called Castle mode Super Bomberman R2. Oh, that's cool. Blast their way to treasure chests while one defending player tries to hold them off. An a brand new Bomberman game. Opponents, literally. You can also I remember seeing Super Bomberman R as a launch Black title for this. I never Super picked Bomberman it up, R2 but maybe I'll get this one. Year. That's cool. Ten Mega Man Battle Network games. <gasps> Battle Network, Network Collection, Nintendo yes! Are coming to Nintendo Switch. Mega Man Control Battle Man Network Man Collection, holy crap! To gain Hell yeah, dude, this that's awesome! With over 1,000 illustrations. Oh, 100% picking 100 that up. Songs from oh, I have some friends who are gonna be so Mega happy Battle about Network this. Legacy Collection launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Next the year, but oh. Be digitally available as volume one and volume two each sold separately. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. A remake of Pac-Man World is coming soon. <gasps> Holy <laughs> Pac-Man's family. A remake of Pac-Man World! What? Eating <laughs> dots isn't all you can do here. No Trouncing way! <laughs> I wanted Pac-Man World and like the uh, Pac-Man Plus, but they're doing a remake of the first game. Oh, hell yeah! That's that's incredible. I Nintendo Switch August twenty sixth. August twenty sixth. That's soon. Likely friends, one incredible journey. Holy shit, dude! Must work together to find a way home across the snowy wilderness. Oh, this looks cute. Man, there's, you know, pretty cool stuff here so far. These unlikely friends must coordinate and use their individual strengths to solve environmental puzzles and navigate through the frigid wilds. Oh, man. You know, this is really Long cute. Is I love this art style. With local and online co -op play, man. So all players Holy shit. It. A Battle Network Legacy Collection. You know, that Pac-Man... Pac-Man World remake, near Automata. Bond in Blanc. <laughs> Man. Launching as a console exclusive on Nintendo Switch. You know, you said this year, but there's been like three to four games already that are next year. 
A swashbuckling adventure returns. A swashbuckling adventure. Oh, is it? Oh, is this Monkey Island? Pirating is in my blood, like adrenaline or stale grog. I've been in enough scraps to fill a dozen scrapbooks. I've okay. got stories about ships, fights, love, treasure, betrayal, and root beer. But how about <laughs> stories about root that beer? Has all of the above. My name is Guybrush Threeport, and this is a story about the time I finally found the secret of Monkey Island. Monkey Island, yep, cool. I've never played this game before, but I always hear it's like this big classic. So maybe I'll give this a shot. Guybrush Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. A new adventure begins. I do love the theme to this game, though. It's a great music piece. Again, uh, like a few other games in this track, great art style. Love the way this looks. I love, like, the all the weird shapes and all the different colors here. It looks really, really good. Yeah, I might actually give this a shot. Return to Monkey Island. Nice. Monkey around in Return to <laughs> Monkey Island, launching first for console. Oh, Devolver Digital. I didn't know they were the ones doing this. That's cool. Next, we have some news about a game that was announced last June. Please take a look. Is this Advance Wars? Mario and the Rabbids. Oh no, Mario Rabbids. Cool. Galactic adventure in the latest Mario Plus. Good to finally get news about this game. This went dead silent for a year. Otherworldly enemies suddenly appear. Yeah, we got we even got some screenshots of this last night. I know they showed off like um Oh, Sparks. Okay, so that's why it's called Sparks of Hope. But like I was saying, I know they showed off Bowser as actually playable in this one. adventure of epic proportions awaits. Wow, real good visuals for this one. Like the first game looked good too, but this looks even better. Before we begin, here's something you ought to know. You can freely move around the battlefield as much as you'd like within your character's range Ooh. before using their weapons. Okay, that's For an interesting time. change from the first one. Let's start with Mario. Three enemies are in the way, so let's dash into one of them. Oh! <laughs> now select Rabbit Rosalina. Rabbit Rosalina. Dash into another. Next, Rabbit Luigi. Hey! hey. More dash. And now, Disruptor time! By using a dash first, then the weapon, three enemies were wiped out. With that, cool. his turn is over. Back to Mario. Though there's probably going to be a way to balance it, though, because if you could just, like, repeatedly dash into, like, a bunch of enemies, Last but not that could be a little broken. Rabbit Rosalina. Team up with an ally is Rabbit Rosalina's jump. thing being, like, tired or aloof? Get position, then finish off with the Kaboomer. Okay, our turn's over. And now, the enemy attacks. Be sure to take cover, and you might be safe. If you don't, it yep. won't be pretty. Still looking good. All looking right, good, just like the, the first game. Again. Dash toward the bomb. And if you chuck it over... Yeah. Oh, cool. Boom! Nice, like bob bomb throw. The key to victory is how you assemble oh, like a big tiger rabbit back the there. Battlefield. Yeah, this looks really good. That Bowser? Yeah, there's He's Bowser. Joining the team? Yep, playable Bowser. That's really cool. Okay, yeah, the leak date was right, October twentieth. Nice. Man, this this Check game just cannot stop getting leaked. Oh, they're even doing a special showcase tomorrow. That's cool. That's good to finally get word on this game, and good that it's still coming this year. So we're about halfway through now. 14 minutes. 
There's something for everyone on Nintendo Switch. That could mean anything. Something for everyone. During a storm, young alchemist Noah crash lands in ancient ruins. What's this? The layout of these little known ruins changes every time you enter. Seacon of Paradise. Recruit allies or, I don't know how to pronounce that right. To challenge the enemies lurking around every corner. Is this like a? String together combos, is this like a Team Asano game? Because this art style looks like Bravely Default. Both. Little Noah, Scion of Paradise. Scion, okay. Launches on Nintendo Switch later today. Later today? Okay. Looks like a pretty decent game. All aboard! <laughs> In the management sim Railgrade, you'll build railway systems to efficiently transport cargo and help restore economic prosperity <laughs> to an industrial colony. It's like a railway builder thing. To prepare each shipment before it's delivered to its destination. Your strategies will change based on various factors, like the number and length of trains to run, I like the music. which resources to acquire, and how to transport cargo from point A to point okay. B. Okay. Yeah, it looks kind of cool. Steamrolls onto Nintendo Switch this fall. No, not immediately, Join my thing, but like... game creator Kenta RPG, in The Legend of Right. Save the world in his latest creation, The Legend of Right. Taking place in Kenta's notebook, okay. this RPG spans over 200 pages. Where wow. You draw, erase, <laughs> solve puzzles, oh, this this is cool. I've always kind of had a soft spot for games like or like drawn to life or and stuff like that. Page. RPG time: The Legend of Right unfolds onto Nintendo Switch August 18th. That's actually pretty cool. Today on Nintendo e Maybe I'll look out for that one. Spin dash into a new zone. Sonic Frontiers. Sonic's latest action adventure kicks off on the vibrant Starfall Islands, home to wow. a mysterious civilization. I know people were joking how this was going to run on Switch. Really dash through a vast open it zone. looks okay. Whoa, that was a cool little flip he did there. Skills. Lock on and attack enemies standing in your way. Chain together attacks to trigger combos and Ooh, I like this rock music in the background. With good timing, you can even deflect enemy attacks. Ooh, this music is good. You can also enter a special zone called Cyberspace. Oh, so this is Cyberspace. Whoa! Okay, yeah, it looks like to progress. It looks like they're doing like Well that that was Green Hill, but that also looked like something completely different there. What awaits Sonic on these strange islands? Oh. Actual cutscene here. Sonic Frontiers dashes onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. Okay, that was an interesting trailer. Live oh, well oh, that's certainly Yeah, that was kinda cool. Like the, like that was Green Hill there, but that looked like also a completely different type level. I don't know if that was like Speed Highway or like Radical Highway or something completely new, but it did look different. It didn't look like something like just reused from Generations like some people were thinking. So, again, I guess we'll just have to wait and see, but cool stuff there, like real good sounding music. Um... Uh, the combat looked good, and it looked to run pretty good on Switch, too. You know, I'm not really commenting on this Disney game just because I don't have much to say, but that was a cool trailer for Frontiers. You know, we, we just need to see more from that game. You can be whoever you dream yourself to be. Dreamlight Valley. I don't really have much to say. I don't care. <laughs> Take these adventures with you on the go. Okay. Live alive! Alive on July 22nd. <laughs> I still can't Multiple believe this game's real. Different protagonists. Oh and my and god, I'm so away. excited. HD2D. It's like a month away, dude. Demo I can't with a wait. Of three chapters: Imperial China, Twilight of Edo, Japan, and the distant future. Will be available on Nintendo eShop later today. Devil! Devil! <laughs> yes! To the full game once oh, yes! Oh, I'm so playing that. And their friends land on an unknown planet and decide to help a new friend fulfill Yes, I'm so playing that demo. Fields, harvest crops, and tend to the animals. Holy shit, I cannot wait for Live Alive. I'm so excited. 
relax by living with friends, <laughs> eating delicious meals, and Dry, man. And with local play, you and a pal can build a ranch together. Doraemon, Story of Seasons, Friends of the Great Kingdom. Oh, Story of Seasons. Oh, is this like some spin-off of like... Because I know Story of Seasons the is like that. The world of Minecraft meets action strategy gameplay. Oh, this was like that. Yeah, Minecraft Legends. Legends. Yeah, but that um, beautiful land Story of Seasons is that like ag that like actual series Story of Seasons that was basically the continuation of allies. Harvest Moon? I'll find out later. The world. What secrets await in this new yet familiar universe? Minecraft Legends launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Next year. It's a treasure hunter. Oh yeah, Advance. Dragon Quest Treasures. They they mentioned this like I think it was last Some month. Dream of collecting grand treasures from around the world. Venture to the realm okay. of Draconia to become legendary treasure hunters. In this Dragon Quest series spin-off, you'll recruit a variety of well-mannered monsters to join you on a Okay, so you adventure. recruit monsters. With I guess like help. five. And with your trusty fortune finder, locating loot will be a breeze. Monsters are perfect travel buddies for exploring this vast All right. Form. Bounce on a slime to reach high ledges, or dangle from a drachy to glide over gaping chasms. Support your monsters in battle as they fearlessly fend off foes. Bring your hard-earned haul back to your base and see how much it's worth. It looks pretty all right. To expand your base and increase your okay. Treasure. Okay. That marks the spot. When yeah. Treasure, That's not too bad. December 9th. Okay, we finally got a release date on this. Oh, are they showing... Oh, oh, it's probably just a sizzle reel here. Yeah, a sizzle reel. Yeah, three hopes. This is probably a sizzle reel leading into the last thing, which I'm willing to bet is Bayonetta. Oh, Cloud version of Plague Tale Requiem. Okay. Captain Velvet Meteor. The jump plus dimension, huh? Okay. Oh, sad. Sad dog. Hmm? We're going to have so much oh, fun the portal uh, collection. First, yeah, they revealed this in, uh, I think, the last direct. And require. There might even be cake. The Portal Companion Collection will be available later today. Later today? Cool! I wanted to call it the Why Do You Keep Killing Me Collection. <laughs> but oh well. <laughs> the Why Do You Keep Killing Me Collection. Let's get started, you monster. Available today. Nice. Maybe that'll lead to Half-Life or maybe even TF2 coming. Farm, fight, and forge friendships in a new fantasy world. Farm fight. Welcome to Leafy, a peaceful village where seasons brighten. Harvestella. Your story begins here in this brand new life simulation RPG. Okay. Do a little farm work. This kind of seems like Rune Factory. Items. All right. And trek through the fields to collect materials. Yeah, it's kind of like Rune Factory. That's All pretty while cool. While meeting townsfolk along the way. The seasons gently flow from spring, summer, fall, and winter. However, they will give way to the season of death. The season of Quietus. death. Quietus. Crops wither. Life is threatened. Find a way to stop <laughs> Wait, was her name Emo? From wreaking havoc on your home. Yeah, this looks pretty cool. The fate of the village depends on you. Whoa! Begin your new life in Harvestella. Harvestella. Nintendo Switch Not bad. November Not 4th. bad. This next segment will be our last announcement. All right, Please last thing. Look. Persona! <laughs> yes! It's finally happening! Coming at ya! I'm Morgana, reigning ace of the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. 
Oh my god, it's finally happening. October 21st, Persona 5 is coming to Nintendo Switch, and it's royal! Yes! Fucking finally! We've wanted this since like 2018 when Joker came to Smash. Finally! Yes! Oh my, three and, three and four. Three and Teddy. Yep. It was like it was like people thought they were saving the Switch reveals for a direct. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Oh my god! P4G. Yep! <laughs> yeah, baby! Hell yes! Please tell me these have physical versions! Keep your eyes peeled for more Persona! Oh, fuck yes! Finally! That's all for today's Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase. Thank you for watching. <laughs> that was... You know what? That was, honest to God, really good. You know, not as not the same caliber as what you would expect from a standard direct, but you know, given what we knew of from like the partner showcases from like 2020, that was really, really damn good. You know, unfortunately, no Bayonetta three or Advance Wars, like a lot of people were thinking, but. There was a lot of good stuff there. Finally got word on Mario and Rabbids 2. Finally Persona ports coming to Switch. All three, again, please, please have physical versions. I will buy those in a heartbeat. We got a remake of Pac-Man World near Automata with brand new costumes and like content for Switch. Mega Man Battle, Battle Network Legacy Collection, S uh, some other cool smaller titles in there. Like, you know, I I know people were probably going to be still sad that this wasn't a main direct, but for my money, that was really, really good. Easily the best partner showcase they have ever done. And if we get future partner showcases like this... I will totally be happy if they keep up this level of quality. Because, again, said it, say it again, really, really good. Honest to God, if they just extended that a little bit more and added a tiny bit more content, like maybe two other big announcements, they probably could have passed that off as a regular direct. Hell, if they took Xenoblade, put it in here and maybe added one more thing, that probably could have been a regular Direct. That was damn great. But, yeah, thank you guys. If, if you're still here at the end, thank you so much for watching. Once again, you know, another Direct reaction from me. Again, I'm really hoping to finally get some more solid content out on YouTube, but for now, these are good holdovers for me. Uh, let me know if you want me to continue doing these. I probably will, but if you guys still want me to do them, I will for sure keep doing them. And yeah, if you liked what you saw, be sure to give a like, and I would really appreciate it if you subscribed, and you can follow me on Twitter, or if you probably found my channel, you probably do already. But yeah, once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in whatever my next video will be. Have a great day, guys.